Welcome to the channel. We'll be talking about everything related to the gaming experience. Not so much the hardware, but the experience, what it feels like, the gameplay, the feeling that you get when you sit at your desktop and you actually immerse yourself in your favorite game. This is what we're gonna get into. Now, to manage expectations, this is not a build video. We're not going to actually be assembling a computer here. Instead, we're going to take an outside look. We're gonna focus more on the visuals of your setup. What does it look like? How homey does it feel? Do you have enough lighting? Is your lighting appropriate? What is it that you like about your setup that when it comes to the point that you sit and the game, that feeling that you get, is it, yes, you're satisfied, do you need to upgrade, do you need to add a, new, a few things or change a few things around? This is sort of what we're gonna talk about. However, if you are interested in a built video, I will put a few links down in the description below. For those of you who were looking for, say for example, an actual build of how you build your system, maybe you haven't gotten to this point yet, but this is mainly geared towards the folks who already have a gaming setup and you're just looking at how do you spice things up. Now, when it comes to your setup, there are different factors that you're gonna need to take into consideration in terms of aesthetics. And one of those key factors would be budget. So we'll start with that. So in terms of budget, you need to figure out what you're comfortable with spending, and that goes without saying. Um, if you're rich and your bank is unlimited, then great. But if you're like most of us, you're going to need to figure out how much of your budget are you going to need to sacrifice between how visually your setup looks and the bank. And when we talk about visuals, one other key thing you're gonna look at is your graphics card, right? So if you're building a gaming setup, your graphics card clearly is the powerhouse under the hood that's gonna get you all of that smooth gameplay in all of the games that you love and games these days are very demanding. So that's also a part of it. But so as long as you have a decent graphics card and your system is spec'd out properly, the next thing you're going to think about is, hey, now that I spend a lot of time sitting here, what does my ideal setup feel should be like? Or, you know, you're gonna kind of give that some thought. So as long as you have enough power to process, like run your games pretty well, and like for me, I'm running like the Radeon 5700 XT, you should be fine. So that shouldn't be a concern. But take for example, like at night, you're sitting, you're playing games and you have to actually spend a lot of time in front of your setup. So it, it, it needs to be appealing, right? Like this. So a key component, clearly, it's lighting. Lighting is going to make or break your visual feel of your setup. And then also there's like your, you know, accent pieces. And when you think of accent pieces, you think of like all of these toy figurines that I have here and like action figures and like my controllers and, you know, tablets, that type of stuff, lava lamps. Just a little poster. I don't like to go over the top. I like to keep things clean but at the same time sort of messy, if that makes sense. Is that an oxymoron? I don't even know, but hey, you, you kind of get my feel here. Uh, this is what we're looking at. We're just looking at these types of things. And for you, you're gonna have to figure out how much of the aesthetics is enough and like what type of theme are you looking to capture? Are you looking to, are you like a Star Wars fan? Are you, let's say, I don't know, a fan of Avengers or whatever it is. It's, your theme is going to have to suit you because that's where you're gonna spend most of your time.
another thing you should probably take into consideration would be colors, right? So if you notice here, I have sort of like a blue with white theme going, uh, shots of my controllers, etc. Like everything has to sort of match with the black slash white. Uh, this is my controller from Cyberpunk, so I like Cyberpunk stuff. It's one of my favorite games, so hey. And the RGB needs to match, so I went, I went with like blue and white, and I do have like red lava on, so my mouse being red was fine with me. If you notice my keyboard, there's like blue in the middle, white on both sides. My mouse pad, same type of feel, it, it pulses through slowly. It does a slow fade type of pulse. But once you pick your color scheme, it's up to you. If you want to go with unicorn vomit by, vomit, by all means, go ahead. Also, this is my cyberpunk like wallpaper. Your wallpaper should also tie into your theme because it's part of the aesthetics. If you're not playing a game, this is what you're going to be looking at, right? So you want all of this to sort of not clash, but have colors that go together and like really complement each other. So if, you, if you're going with like, let's say a, a majority blue type theme, that will work. But pick your colors wisely, unless you just love Unicorn Format. Another thing you need to take into consideration is real estate, right? Like how much space do you actually have for your setup? The larger the room that you have, the more things you could actually cram in there. Unless let's say you're going for that real minimal look. And if you're going for that minimal look, then space might not really be your issue. But real estate is something you need to consider because if you have, let's say a lot of uh, I don't know, action figures you want to put on display, etc., that type of stuff, then you're going to need a lot of real estate. So always keep these types of things in mind whenever you're considering your setup. If you're thinking about upgrading, say, for example, how big of a desk would you need to go to from the one that you're at, right? And also it's like your internal, like inside of your CPU, do you want a case where you can't see the internals or do you want something more like this where you could see through your case and it comes with RGB fans and you can add on, let's say, more than one GPU holder, like in my case here, I have like a dual GPU holder setup. It just gives me more RGB. I like it. So hey, it works. If you're a person, you don't like RGB, you don't like all of the fancy lights, it's up to you. Go with whatever works for you. Also, you know, like let's say a little touch of nature, like a plant, that could help a lot. There's just a lot of different things you can do for your setup, but it has to be getting you to that sweet spot that works for you. But hey, so this was enough of my rambling on about the visuals of your setup. So folks, if you like the content, feel free to hit subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also hit the like button if you like this video. So hey, I'll probably keep them coming.